Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at how to assemble your multi-purpose lithium-ion portable weed whacker lawn mower. Let's get right into it. Okay, once we get everything out of the box, there's not a whole lot of components, which is nice. You're going to have the main unit right here. You'll have a handle that we'll put on here. You're going to have a guard for one of the blades. You also have this safety guard that's going to go on the other side that'll prevent you from getting too close to walls. And then a couple tools here. One screw, a little Allen wrench, and a little socket head. So step one, we're going to lock the unit into a straight line. You'll extend it, you can lift the little buckle up, and you'll pull it back, and it'll snap right into place. So next we're going to install the safety guard. You're going to need the little socket wrench, the Allen wrench key, and then the one screw that's right here. So first we're going to loosen up the nut right here off of the head unit, and you'll use the little socket wrench. Just loosen up the nut, and you might even be able to do it by hand after it's loosened a little bit. And then this cap will easily remove. Next up, we're going to mount the protective cover onto the head unit. And notice how this round dish area is facing towards the camera, but really will be facing the ground when it's done. Also, take note of this little hole right here. We're going to try and get that lined up with this one over here. And then I'm going to slide it right over the head, and it's going to go through some specific notches before it seats. And then if I'm looking down at it, I'm going to rotate it in a clockwise direction until those two holes line up. From there, we'll put the supplied screw right through the hole and then tighten it down with a supplied screwdriver or one of your own. And then we're going to put the cap back on and it's going to seat on top of the nut. For this example, we're going to put the saw blade on here and it's important that you put it on facing the right direction. Now the motor, when you look down at it, goes in a clockwise rotation and you're going to want the teeth of the blade to move in the clockwise rotation as well. So you're going to slide that blade right over and you can see there's little grooves right here. These are going to line right up just like that. And it's going to seat, add the washer, add the nut, and tighten everything down real nice and snug. Now, while we're here, we're going to finish by installing the safety ring. It faces in this direction downward. And there's a hole right here and on the opposite side. And all you're going to do is separate this and place it into the holes. And just like that, that'll prevent you from hitting any walls or anything that you don't want to get too close to. Or if you don't need it, you could always fold it up and it'll stay right there out of the way. And then the last piece to install is gonna be the handle right here. Just remove the screw. And we're gonna install the handle on the upper part of the rail. And we're gonna install the handle up top here so that the screw is on the left side of the weed whacker. Simply put it over the bar, push down. It'll snap right on, nice and easy. And then put the screw right back in and twist it until it's super snug and secure. Now you're ready to go, and not only can you change the total length of the weed whacker by simply pressing the button down here, and you can also adjust the angle of the head by pressing the button back here, and you can get it to whatever degree you want, depending on the task at hand. Hopefully this helps you with the assembly of your wireless weed whacker, and we'll see you in another video.